Okay, so in this circuit, we have two resistors that are in series with each other. Now, because the current will have to go through both of them, you have to add up the resistance. The total resistance in this case is going to be 15. And if I add another resistor, I simply just add on that. So in this case, 5 plus 10 plus 15 is going to be a total of 30 ohms resistance. So adding components that are in, in series increases the total resistance. And you just figure out, figure, figure out the total resistance, you simply add uh, the resistance of the individual resistors. So here, 5 ohm resistor, and I'm going to add another 5 ohm resistor in parallel. This provides another alternative route for the current to flow through. So this actually halves the resistance. So adding two resistors that are the same in, C in parallel actually halves, and so the total resistance in this case is 2.5 ohms. Okay, so adding resistors or components in parallel decreases the total resistance. Let's say I had a 15 ohm resistor now. Now to calculate the total resistance in this case, I can use this equation here. One over the total resistance of the combination will equal one over the resistance of the individual components added together. Okay, so in this case, one over five plus one over five plus one over 10, uh, 15. Okay, remember now that's equal to 1 over the total resistance. So a quick way to work out the total resistance is just do 1 over this whole thing here. Okay, so divide that thing, uh, do 1 over what you just calculated there, and that should give us 2.14 ohms. And that makes sense because of adding, even though you're adding a, a higher resistance resistor, you're actually going to decrease the resistance further because you're providing an alternative route for the current to flow through. Okay, in this question, we are asked to calculate the total resistance of this circuit. The internal resistance of the cell is negligible, so that means we can ignore any in, uh, resistance that's inside the cell itself. Okay, so firstly, it's tempting to think that the 20 ohm resistor is in series with the 10 ohm resistor, but it's not, because the current that flows through the 20 ohm resistor doesn't have to equal the current that goes through the 10 ohm resistor because of this branch here, which can add extra amount of current to, through one of those routes. So but what is uh, what you should do here is actually put notice that these two are in parallel with each other and work that out first. Okay, so to work out parallel, we do 1 over 20 plus the 1 over 40, and just do 1 over that to give us a total of 13.3 ohms. So that combination here has a total resistance of 13.3 ohms, and that combination is in, in series with the 10 ohm resistor, so I simply add on the 10 ohms. So total resistance here is 23.3 ohms. Okay, so we're calculating the total resistance of this circuit as well. Whatever current that flows through the 20 ohm resistor has to flow through the 10 ohm resistor. So these two are in series with each other. So total resistance of these two, the 20 and the, uh, and the 10, is 30 ohms. Just simply add them. Now those two do that are in series with each other are in parallel with the the 40 ohm here. So those that so the combination there will look like this. So 1 over 30 plus the 1 over 40 and then do 1 over that. And that gives us this total of 17.1 ohms. Okay, so final example here. So just looking at the circuit, I notice that these two are in series with each other. The current that goes through them is the same. So the total resistance of those two will be 20 ohms. And I notice actually this combination here is going to be parallel to this combination here. Okay, they're in like a loop together. So I'm going to do 1 over 20 plus 1 over 40. And then do 1 over that. And that gives me 13.3 ohms. Okay. And then finally, I've just noticed that whatever current goes through here, it has to go through this 30 ohm resistor. And then it goes through this combination that we just calculated right now. And it comes back out and it goes through, it has to go through a 50 ohm resistor. So the 30 and the 50 ohm resistor are in series with the combination that we just worked out. So I just simply add on the 30 ohms and the 50 ohms. Give me a total resistance of 93.3 ohms.